Hey, it's Nicolette Toy, and this is a different type of video that I'm doing today. Usually, I have all of my natural hair videos. However, today it's um, going to be about my breast reduction that I've had done, and I've had a few questions on YouTube about it, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about my procedure, and if anybody else is thinking about a breast reduction, um, this video may help you out or it may give you a little bit of insight about what I went through. If anyone is thinking about a breast reduction, two thumbs up. <laughs> I absolutely love my breast reduction. I am so happy I thought about doing it. Um, I got to an age. I'm almost 40 years old. All right, and um, you know, I b turned 40 or got ready to turn 40. There was a few things that I wanted to change in my life. So, January 2nd of 2011, I decided to cut off all of my hair and go natural. I wanted to try natural because I was so used to seeing my hair in a relaxed state. So that was something different for me to do. Second, February 22nd, I wanted to have my breast reduction. Again, I've had big breasts all of my life. It was time for another change. And I just didn't want to get older and carry those big old bags along with me. I figure if I'm going to get fragile, you know, you know, the older I get, I can't carry those big old bags around or else I'll be walking around with my head down. And I just didn't want to deal with that, to be honest with you. So if you are considering it, uh, bravo. If you're not considering it, then bravo to you too. If that's what you want to deal with, then that's fine. Do you. Me, I'm just very um, athletic. I bowl, I play softball, I swim, I work out, I walk. I just do a lot of things that prohibits me from doing to the best of my ability because of my larger breasts. I was a previous 38 double D. Now I'm a 38 D. <laughs> I know I dropped the the doubles and now I'm at the single. I am a full 38D, which is fine with me. I just wanted to get rid of the doubles because that was just way too much of fat for me to have. Um, I'm only 5'2". So you see me coming around the corner and you see these big breasts coming around the corner just as well. I just was not having it. I was tired. My husband saw that it was bothering me. Um, he kind of brought it up to my attention and it's kind of funny that I think about it because I would come home and you know sometimes when you come home you take the bra off, you, you know everything off and you just want to relax. But I noticed when I was walking around I would have this arm underneath my breast walking around <laughs> you know and he would be like why are you holding your breast like that? And I would be caught off guard because I would be like, because I don't want them to fall and, um, while I'm walking and still have strain on my back. I just, it was just so natural for me to just take this arm and, you know, do my errands and hold my arm underneath my breast just to keep them up. So he was like, no, <laughs> you have got to do something about those. Um, another um, tip that I could give to the heavy ladies that maybe, um, you know, aren't going to do a breast reduction, I would, this is what helped me um, actually out a lot to take the strain off of my back. Say, for instance, this is my bra, right? I would take this, go like this, cross it, and I would take a mascara tube and I would stick it in the hole right there. Stick it in the hole, and what it did was keep my breasts up. So I had the mascara on my neck while this was up. It actually felt wonderful. You know, it felt like <laughs> it wasn't moving. You know what I mean? It was up, you know. So that's what I did for like the last few months um, 
you know, after after I got tired of carrying those big saddlebags. <laughs> so um, it helped. So just try it if you're, you know, at home and you um tired of them things hanging. You know what I mean? Just stick them up. Makes you feel like you're 18 all over again. <laughs> but, um, yes, I am really happy that I've done it. I have smaller breasts now. Um, I don't look for wireless bras just because I still have my scar, and, scar underneath. Um, so I'm still fine without the wireless bras. I get, you know, with without the wire bra. I, I, I use the wireless bras now. Um, but I actually love it. I do the half bras too. So I can do that and put under shirt and I'm good. I don't have to have straps because when you're kind of big, you always, always have to have straps. You know, if you wear the half bras, you can get away with it, but you know your breasts are kind of saggy and um, they're heavy and it's not really like the best look, but you know, it is what it is. People accept it because, hey, if it's the summer, you know, you got to wear the half bra sometimes with your outfits and your summer dresses. So, um, yeah, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. So it's been uh, about a year and a few months since I've had it done. And the results that I got is incredible. Of course, I can't show you my breasts because I'm just not going to do that <laughs> and then my husband would kill me but I can tell you that I'm happy with the results what they have to do is if you haven't researched a breast reduction before you have it done please research it so you know exactly what they have to do because they do go from underneath the breast and they do have to take off your areolas and reattach them mine are reattached to fine the only thing that is a little bit off I shall say is that my one of my areolas expanded a little bit bigger than the other one. It doesn't look really abnormal. If I took off my breasts, no one would be like, oh, what happened? You know what I mean? It, you know, you would really have to look at it to see that it's a difference. Um, what I'm speaking about is like my left areola is like maybe this big and then my right one is about maybe this big, you know just a little bit bigger than the other one. It wasn't the doctor's fault, it was just that my skin, it just expanded. So that was just what happened with my body. But it's all good. Um, at first I was a little bit scared because my nipples and the areolas, everything was just black. And I was like, oh my God, my nipples and everything's dead. I mean, it was so black. But the doctor just reassured me that it would Come, become lighter you know as the days go by and now they're lighter and they're back to the color that I'm used to seeing <laughs> you know some people do have black you know areolas and the nipples are a little bit darker me I was never just black so um you know that's kind of what was different for me to see but again they're back to normal and everything looks good I do have scarring underneath my breasts and um, that's okay. I'm cool with it because, again, who sees that but me and my husband? No big deal. Around my areolas, I was getting some keloids just because about maybe a month or two, I really wasn't paying attention to my breasts. I wasn't caring for them. I was putting some cocoa butter on it, but not every day. But the keloids did not heal from the cocoa butter. Let me tell you the bomb product. Mederma. It's like $25, $30, but I'm telling you, it is so worth it for this little tube, I know, right? But after a couple of weeks, I put it right on the keloids and it went right on down. And that was probably about a good six months after I still had my surgery. So it doesn't matter how long after your surgery, this stuff is the bomb. And I'm still using it today um, just to kind of take away some of the scarring. But it's going to be scarring because that's just how the surgery is. Um, but it looks good. I'm just so happy that I got it done. Um, the smaller size makes me feel like I'm just a little slimmer. I look like I've lost weight. The only difference is, is that sometimes I look down at my, my stomach and I can actually see my stomach. Before my breasts were, were so big that I never got a chance to see my stomach. And now I'm like, ooh, 
got to lose a little bit of weight in my stomach because I can see you now. <laughs> but um, mentally, there are some things that still I think I, I have heavy breasts. For instance, once you get your breasts done after um, a while you're going to when you eat you're going to sit away from the table with like this much of gap in between the table and you while you're eating I in my mind was like you know I'm still big but you know when I would eat food would fall in the middle of my lap or the chair and I'd be like that's right I can move up because before my breasts were so big that it would hit the table and they were underneath the table. But after the breast reduction, they're smaller now and they're above the table. <laughs> so it's just some things that still messes with my mind a little bit that I'm like, oh yeah, I have smaller breasts now. I don't have to really worry about that. Uh, but that, you know, you'll grow into um, um, knowing that you have smaller breasts and just that's what happens. I guess. It's kind of like if you're a big person and you lose a lot of weight and now you're thin, you still kind of have the mentality that you're big, you know, but you'll get over it. Um, the procedure itself was good. However, I did run into some complications. Um, the anesthesia was too much, and what happened after the surgery is they had to keep me a night in the hospital because I was just too sick. Actually, for like two weeks, I was just sick as a dog. I had to go to the emergency room like two times because I just kept wanting to throw up. I was just, it was just too much in my body. Um, and, you know, after about a couple of weeks, I was good. But it's just, ugh, I don't want to go through another surgery again because the anesthesia really kicked my butt. But other than that, the procedure was good. I was sore um, afterwards for a while. I love my sleep, so it was affecting my sleep. I couldn't sleep on my stomach or really my side. I always had to sleep on my back. It was just annoying. But it is what it is. You know, I had to heal. They were hard. They were kind of like up here, and they were really hard. So after the surgery, you know, it's probably like a few months, they started getting a little softer, and they started falling to where they should fall. Um, so that's pretty much the only thing that I saw that was just like, oh, God, you know, I hope it, you know, changes. It won't stay so hard, and it'll start falling. Um, even though, you know, when it was up to here, it looked like I was, again, 18 all over again. So it looked kind of nice. I was walking, you know, all proud, <laughs> breast sticking out. Um, but, you know, it's all good. 